All right, people, maybe I can talk here out of the dag blasted wind. It's windy every day. Either way, I get a request to use chicken every year. I do it a couple times a year. It's spring of the year. I've already made one video right here. Here comes the dag blasted wind. We're at a place called Turkey Creek, and I'm going to see if I can catch a catfish using chicken in Turkey Creek. Uh, I'm going to pull some real bait as well. Uh, you could get a, a monster fish on chicken. Hey, I don't believe there's many monsters in Fort Loudon to begin with, but either way, you could get one on chicken. Is it the best bait for a monster fish? Probably not. Uh, anything's possible, but because of that, I would like to vary my baits. I've got a bunch of white bass as well, and we're going to pull skipjack. I think I'm going to run white bass on the this side of the boat, chicken straight out the back, and we'll put skipjack on the left side. The middle rod, which will be this blue Mad Cats rod, will be the one that has chicken on it. No flavoring, no strawberry, jello, Kool-Aid garbage crap. Fish don't care about that. I'll probably have salmonella poison by the time I handle the stuff and eat my snacks out here today. But either way, let's go ahead on with this video. The old Mad Cats, I forget what they call it. It's a Mad Cats rattle. Battle rattle, that's what it is. Those chicken. My hooks are a little big for this kind of fishing. But I would rather miss small fish then miss a large fish. We are in spawning temperatures, water temp 74 degrees. We've got some cats just flat out on the nest back here, I can promise you that. Put some white bass on there. They seem to hit white bass good this in this hotter weather. I'm honestly Expecting just as much on it as I am the skipjack in these kind of water temps. We'll have the white bass on the right. Over here. Nice and fresh. I've got my larger spook from Hooker's Terminal Tackle. It's got more flotation. And that's the one I'm going to be using my big head pieces on. Got to have enough flotation to get the bait up off the bottom and then a heavy enough sinker to get it all down. Fort Lousy Reservoir. Well, the chicken hooked up first. It don't feel like no world record. But it was the first bait to hook up. scratched up cats, man. They're back here nesting or trying to nest or going on the nest or coming off the nest. Spawn happens over a period. It don't happen all at the same time. This section of the creek is not near as active as that last section I fished. The water's a lot clearer right here. But we're going to work our way back to that more muddier section of creek back there. I just wanted to try this first because you never know where a big fish is hiding. Yep. Chicken hooked up again. That white bass got hooked. That white bass got hit. 
But it didn't stay hooked up. Old big headed male. Got some weird dark coloring to them. Sign of spawning. That chicken's pretty wore out, but I'm gonna throw it out again. It's still usable. I just gave it another wrap around. <laughs> yeah, the males are a uh, a longer, thinner fish usually have a, a lot wider head and a bigger mouth than a female. Definitely a male fish. And he has got a little bit of weird coloring to him. Both the white bass head and the skipjack got hit at the same time. I missed the skipjack head. This feels a little different. This don't feel like a blue cap. It could be. It was a different kind of fight and it's a different kind of fight. See what we got. Yeah, it is a blue kit. Sure is. That skipjack head is a little big for the size fish that we're hooking up with so far. White bass, second time the white bass has been hit. Skipjack's been hit once. Oh yeah, oh yeah. White bass. Running straight to me. Definitely a better fish. Biggest one of the day.
nice fish right there. He stays on. That's a tournament winner in this lake. The white bass got the biggest one so far. Yes. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Yeah. Got that darker color going on. Yeah. A tournament winner around here. Yeah. Oh, white bass center section. It's done caught two and missed a few. Either way, it is something they're willing to chew at least today. White bass. White bass is doing pretty good, man. Keeping up with chicken and numbers, but the fish are a little bigger. Ow! Ornery sucker, boy. Oh! Ornery, ornery, ornery. <laughs> Sir. White bass hooked up. It hit. And I thought it got hung after that, but the chicken got hit. Either way, white bass is getting them today. So far, it's kind of the winner. Old skipjack head ain't caught jack squat.
skipjack head finally hooked up. Fat female, full of eggs. She's a little barrel. Big old fat guts. Yeah, buddy. Fat gut. Another chicken fish. That's a beast right there. Before I handle any more of that nasty chicken, I'm gonna get me a snack. I don't wanna die today or tomorrow. And if you keep handling that nasty chicken and then eating with your hands, either one could happen. The way that thing hit, I thought we had a big fish for a second, but just a real rambunctious fish. He just wanted it real bad, that's all. Another chicken fish.
white bass head. We real shallow here. Three foot. White bass has done very well today. Gosh dang it. Yes, sir. There's another one. White bass is definitely competing with chicken and bites. It seems to have caught most of the better fish. They're chicken fish. They run a little smaller, it seems like, or at least today. Um, he kept on till he got it. White bass head. It's an ornery old channel cat hit that white bass head. Female channel for legs. That old skipjack head got old on me. So that's one of those uh, large bluegill with spots. I got the head of one of those on there. Oh, white bass head. White bass head. Just keep catching. Fish after fish on these same pieces of white bass. Yeah, he wants that. I'll go ahead and give it to him, because that bait's getting old. That other one come unhooked. 
Either way, it got hit at the same time. Yeah. Monsters. Uh, he come off, he come off, he come off. But, but we're hit there too. Oh, we're hit there. Yes, we are. Another channel, Kev. White bass was the winner because of the quality of fish it got, and it still got a comparable amount of bites to the chicken. Chicken got quite a few bites. Skipjack didn't get much. The white bass got comparable bites to the chicken. There's guys over in Sandy Cooper where they got white perch, and they'll tell you there's times you want to use shad. There's times when you want to use the perch. Well, the white perch is just like these white bass. They look like them even. They just don't get as big. But either way, there comes a season when these fish don't want something so oily. Chicken breast doesn't have near as much fat in it as these skipjack do or these gizzard shad do. And it's the same way with that white bass. It's a very lean cut. And that's obviously what they're keying in on right now. I threw the chicken out there for the algorithms. And you never know, you could get a big fish on chicken. I've done it. It's been done. For the most part, it tends to attract the smaller fish, as we've seen today. Either way, it is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.